are so thankful that you, sir, have come out to support us. My pleasure, my pleasure. Because without us, all together here, we wouldn't be here. And without books, we wouldn't be here. Without the books, we wouldn't be no libraries. But nonetheless, you're here, and you're still going to get some information. You get to talk to both Carl and I. You get to sh learn from our experiences. And it's going to be a Q&A session, so if you have questions, feel free to ask as many as you want. If you've got 150 questions, we'll answer all of them. And that's just about it. It's going to be wonderful. And I'm just going to invite Pearl to say a few words. Come on up, Pearl. Yeah. Hi, Brian. I'm really excited that you actually came all the way out here, and which is fantastic. We have one more person coming in here right now. This is Stan. Hey, hey Stan. Welcome. How are you? Oh, yeah. So, I just want to say a few words about Dominique. Dominique is uh, very talented, very knowledgeable, very well read. And I'm really excited to be here. I'm here today in support of Dominique because he has his book coming out. My book came out um, about two years ago, but I really wanted to be here to be in support of Dominique. So without any further ado, I'd like to Dominique, you can uh, tell us about going up. All right. Thank you, Pearl. Thank you, Pearl. Go in and have a seat, Stanley. Oh, I'm, I'm only, I'm He's only, here for a minute. Oh, he's here for a minute? Okay. Well, just going to talk for you a short bit about the transformation from reader to author. Okay. Now, ask yourself this question. Who in my life that I've run into has made me want to change? I'm sure. Yes. And that's one of the main reasons why this book is here today, and it's from a guy who's 25 and almost failed high school because he wasn't good at English class. And the reason is because at the time I didn't see myself writing a book, especially in my 20s. But there's two people in particular that helped me to start this journey from transformation from region to all. So back in 2015, I was in the Dunkin' Donuts. I was about to meet with one of my mentors. And I got there a little early. And since I got there a little early, I always like to keep a book on me. Like Malcolm X would always keep books around so I could read them. A mentor showed up, and then he noticed I was reading it, and he asked me my thoughts on it. And he said that the guys who wrote this book, they're no smarter than me. All they did was package their expertise. And that really stuck out to me. Because you have all you need to succeed. I was reading so many books at the time, I was being a consumer. I wasn't being a producer. My mentor challenged me to become a producer, not just a consumer. Leave the planet with something when you came in it. So that way, when you go out of it, you'll have something to leave behind for the generations coming behind you. So as a few months go by, I created this list of reading materials called the 100 Books for Dynamic Living. Even handing them out to a few people, even sold a few laminated editions. And while I was giving out this list, I was at this Toastmasters conference where I met this woman. We'll call her Jennifer for today. Mm -hmm. And when I handed her the list, she looked at the list, then she looked at me, then she looked back at the list and asked me, where's your book? And I was dumbfounded because, one, I almost failed my way out of high school with English classes because it wasn't my strongest subject. And two, what the heck am I going to write about when I'm 24? <laughs> what the heck am I going to write about? So she kept selling it to me. She's like, think about it. Dominique Brightman, author. I'm like, no. No, I'm, no. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not doing this. She's like, come on, we, we can do it together. Let's see, this time, next November 2016, we write our books, and we'll release them at the same time. And I was like, no, no. She put out a hand to have me shake going. I was like, nope, I'm not doing it. Nope, you are too intense, lady. I am backing away. And then after that conversation, did some soul searching and some deep thought. And I thought, you know what? This goes back to what my mentor said. Don't be a consumer, be a producer. 
this is another step from just giving out a reading list. It's actually leaving a footprint on the planet in a way. So I went ahead and said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and surprise her by November with this book and have it released. And that led to the journey. So first I had the challenge, and then I had another challenge. And then I was within the challenge, the valley moment. And this time was to complete the book. Since we're just about all authors in here, I'm, I'm pretty sure you have stories of when you're writing, and you may have had writer's block, where you didn't know what to write, didn't know what to say, days you didn't feel like writing at all. And there are a couple things that helped me to finish. And they were to compile a list of people that I told I was writing this book. I looked at the list again yesterday. 